What's going on guys? Long time no see. My name is Jake and welcome back to NLX. I know it's been a while, but today I'm back and I want to share with you guys what I think might be my new PvP obsession. Gundam vs. If you haven't heard of this game, or series of games rather, then you're not alone. I've been a huge Gundam fan for years, but I only recently found out about this series of games. Apparently, these games already have a huge following in Japan as well as a smaller but equally devoted following here in the States. But hopefully this series will start to get more attention now that Bandai Namco is officially releasing its newest addition to the series here in the States. The footage you're seeing here I captured from a trial version of the game. In order to play this open beta, I had to make a Japanese PSN account on my PS4, which actually wasn't that hard and there are plenty of tutorials online. Anyways, in the footage here, I'm playing against bots so I can better learn how to play the game, but the typical mode consists of an online 2v2 match where you and your partner need to use strategy to beat your opponents. Every Gundam has different strengths and weaknesses, as well as a varying amount of health and power. Some Gundams are heavier and slower, but may specialize in extremely powerful projectile attacks, while other Gundams might be much faster melee types and can only be effective at close range. The synergy between the two Gundams, as well as your ability to communicate with your partner, can make all the difference between victory and defeat. But before I get ahead of myself, let me reiterate that I am an absolute novice at this game. I have much, much more to learn before I can stand a chance against the many seasoned veterans of this series. This beta is only available to play for one hour on Thursdays and Saturdays, so it's difficult to get practice before the game's official release in the West this coming fall. That being the case, I've imported the previous game in the series, Gundam vs. Extreme Full Boost for the PS3. I'll be getting my chops up on that game in the meantime. Now, obviously my PvP experience has been primarily Dark Souls, but this game honestly has a lot in common with Souls PvP, believe it or not. So basically, you're always locked onto your target, and you're able to simply run around the map if you like. But if you do that, you're going to become cannon fodder pretty quickly. Instead of running around like some sort of weeb, you're going to want to use your boosters to get around and effectively dodge incoming attacks. But your booster is limited by your boost gauge at the bottom right of your HUD. Once your Gundam sets both feet on the ground, your boost bar will recharge. However, if you use your entire boost bar, you'll overheat and won't be able to move for a second. Obviously this will make you vulnerable to enemy attacks. Each Gundam also has different weapons at their disposal that have different amounts of charges that you can use before it has to recharge. So, as you can see, this game is all about anticipating your opponents and effectively managing your weapon charges and your boost bar. Not to mention communicating with your partner, the blaze and lightning gear system, and the list goes on. Obviously, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I'm really excited for this game to come to the West, and to learn to get good at it. So expect more Gundam vs. videos in the future. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more content like this, why not subscribe? But as always guys, thanks for watching and praise the games.